Hey guys, welcome to a new plugin showcase. Today we got Boot Crates, and this is a pretty cool, pretty new plugin actually on Spigot. Uh, the link is down below uh, to go download it and add it to your server, but it mainly works on versions 1.14. Uh, the developer is trying to add uh, cross compatibility, but uh, it's actually a fairly new plugin, only been out for a few months. I wanted to showcase this pretty cool interface that he has with the loot crates. So the main command is crates, and this uh, brings up uh, the different types of crates. So we do crates, and then the crate, and then here. Here are all the different types of crates that uh, are already built in into the fig and keep in mind all this is completely customizable uh, so we'll just do a regular one so we'll do a regular and then the player's name and now we have given a regular uh, supply crate as you see it is tier 2 right so if we go ahead and just right click it it opens up a nice GUI and I really like this interface because you can click on four different ones has sound effects and then it gives you particle effects as well so go ahead and uh, click on the rewards and this is what it gives you oh we got a rare supply crate so now uh, once you click that you just hit exit and it gives you uh, this new uh, supply crate right here that we just won and we got another one just like that so you can click wherever you want and we have another rare oh we got a legendary on that one so that's awesome got uh, some more really that's actually really good <laughs> really good stuff right there so if we go ahead and hit exit it closes uh, close it and let's open our legendary one see what we can get and uh, there we go. So that is uh, the interface. So I really like this Loot Crates plugin because it's very simple, yet it looks so good on your server, guys. So highly recommend that you download it. But uh, that is the command to give the crates. So there's uh, several different crates that you can give. Uh, and then the next thing uh, is this ruin. So I, I like this ruins because it, it builds like a little cool structure right here. So what you could do is you could place this in your war zone or like wherever you want it on your server. And then uh, you can have like a PvP battles or whatever and you can just come and uh, open it up and you have your supply crates right there all right and then uh, you get your rewards uh, etc and uh, that's what you get all right so there is that feature and then another feature is called game so we do uh, crates and then uh, game and basically this uh, spawns it random uh, randomly in whatever coordinates that you set in the config so let's go to TP uh, position and then five five seven eight we're gonna cheat a little bit and then uh, negative 224 so all right there we go oh that looks cool so uh yeah it just spawned right here and go ahead and open it and there is your supply crate so uh this looks really awesome guys i like it so if you want the structure to disappear you can set that in the config so let's go in the config and show you guys what we can change and set up this video is being sponsored by sangata Sangata is the one-stop shop designed to help make finding the perfect plugins for your Minecraft server easy and efficient. With the help of continuous user and developer feedback, Sangata is quick to implement your ideas and improve the platform. With fair and just business practices, Sangata Marketplace gives you the opportunity to download free and paid plugins to help your server stand out from the crowd. Join the Sangata community by checking out the links below. So go to your plugins folder and we go to loot crates. If you guys need a Minecraft hosting company, be sure you check out revivenode.com. The link is down in the description. You can use the code STRIKER in all caps for 10% off your purchase. All right, so we'll go into our config.yml for loot crates. And uh, here is the basic setup. So you have a scroll speed. If you want uh, to zero, that will instantly reveal the items or you can set it to one or two or three. So let's go and put it to five. Uh, let, let's try that out. And then here is all the different sounds. So make sure you you have uh, the correct sound ID for your Minecraft version. And here is uh, my suggestion that I added, he implemented, so a huge shout out to him, but basically it gives you min max coordinates, and then you can set this in the config, so uh, if you want it between uh, X100 uh, and uh, Y or Z100, then you can totally do that. But I like that how it is, so I'm gonna leave it the same. And then you have world generation. So basically if you want to enable this, uh, they can spawn randomly when a, a chunk uh, generates, so that's really cool so you can use a command or you can have it just like generated randomly throughout the world uh, and uh, you can go ahead and change that to true and the chance is uh, to spawn a crate per newly generated trunk so here is uh, the chance so it's only two and then here is the ruin that you can enable true or false and then here is the different types of uh, crates that or items rather item categories that can spawn and then here is if uh, remove ruins on take so I like this feature so I'm going to change that to true because I don't want it to 
be kept in the world, so whenever a player uh, grabs it, it will go ahead and replace the items back to normally how they were. And here, you can pretty much add whatever the heck you want. So, there's so many things, so much customization within this, so, uh, and here is all the loot. So, I like the loot how it is, but you can configure it how you want. So, there's so many options that you can change with this plugin, which is super awesome. So, uh, that's pretty much it. Here's the GUI that you can change if you want, and then here are the fireworks if you want that to be true, uh, enabled to your vault. So, once you have, uh, edited your config, uh, however you want, just go ahead and save that. I'm gonna go in-game, we do crates and reload, and that will just reload your config. So, let's go ahead and try this, uh, this, uh, crates game again. So, it would randomly spawn a crate within those coordinates that we set. So, 19277, and then negative 294, and we'll go, and here we go. We have teleported it just like that, and, uh, it looks pretty cool. I like this runes feature, because it just adds it, uh, a little bit unique, too. So, if we go ahead and uh, right click on it as you see it just disappeared and it reset all the blocks to how it normally is and we can go ahead and open up our crate just like so and uh, ooh, we got another uh, ultra uh, supply crate which is awesome so let's go ahead and open that one see what we can get and we got some pretty good rewards right here some obsidian some hoppers and some iron so there we go and now I added to, to our inventory so that is the plugin uh, pretty cool I really like this uh, there is a lot of features that you can do with this plugin so the developer is really nice and he implements your ideas, so if you guys have any ideas, be sure to uh, put it in the discussion and on his bigot page or your, uh, add him on Discord or whatever, but uh, I highly recommend this plugin, it's super fun, I think it's a really good aspect to your Minecraft server. Hope you guys did enjoy, I will see you guys next time, peace.